Alfred Talapero, Mr. Talapero TV. How's everybody doing? What's going on? What's going on? What's popping? What's popping? What's up? What's up? What's going on? All right. Let's talk Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, and Kanye Blood Hair West. Cool, cool. All right. So it's being reported, all right, from a very strong source that Jay-Z called a meeting with Kanye West, all right? Jay-Z and Beyonce asked Kanye and Kim Kardashian to come to their Los Angeles home to talk, all right? From there, we don't know what they talked about. We wasn't privileged to be inside that um, estate to know what just exactly what these guys were talking about. But we are being told that the meeting was very awkward, all right? Jay-Z and Beyonce, awkward meeting with Kim and Kanye. Beyonce has come out and make her statements known about how she feels about Kim and Kanye. She cool on them. We've been told that Jay reportedly is cool on Kanye. I did a blog back in the past. Shout out to y'all for supporting that vlog. I believe it's like 500,000 views up. Where I said Jay-Z actually thought Kanye West was a nut job. And he only works with him when he has to. Well, here's the thing with the Jay-Z-Kanye relationship. Well, if you guys don't remember... Kanye West still has a, what, 2% ownership and title? Remember, artists own titles. So it's Jay-Z and a lot of artists that he gave ownership to. That was the way he convinced artists to join him by giving them ownership of something like that. Jay-Z owns title, but as a, a majority owner, but Kanye has a, a minority ownership. I believe it's 2% him and a lot of other artists have a 2% stake. So Jay-Z's like, okay, I got to check in with Kanye. Where, where you head at? You good? You straight? I don't even know if this is about checking in on Kanye's help. I think it might have come out of that conversation. But I think Jay-Z's like, man, I just got to be a businessman. I got to see what's up with somebody who could stop me by not signing something, by not agreeing with something, could stop me from doing business. Where you head at, homie? And I think that's where the meeting started with. I think that was the point of the meeting. I really don't think Jay-Z, after what Kanye went and said on stage about him, call me like a family. Why you ain't call me? You know, all that and, and talking about Beyonce only going to award shows when she knows she has an award. I think Hove is pretty straight on, 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 on Kanye. All right? He got enough friends. He got a, he has a, a pretty great life. All right? I don't think Jay-Z is tripping over friends. I think this was more of a business stake. Again, we were told that this meeting was awkward. All around awkward. I mean, <laughs> Kanye is like an awkward guy. I couldn't imagine having a conversation with Kanye. I want to interview the man, but I just, I, I've seen some of his interviews. Sometimes it's pretty awkward. Sometimes pretty awkward. So, Jay Z's pretty awkward as well. So, I can only imagine how awkward these guys were talking to each other. And it looks like these four people have these four top figures in in the world i mean you're talking about four of the biggest looks like they've met up jay and beyonce we're being told are pretty stern on still going one and up go their separate ways and not do business with kim and kanye in the future specifically kanye west but it looks like these four have sat down for a meeting to at least bring their differences to the table all right and then me knowing jay-z is probably to talk about business me knowing who jay-z is is from interviews and everything like that He's a business-minded person at all times. Even when the person ain't thinking business, he's thinking business for himself. So he's probably trying to make sure his business is in order, titles in order, make sure everything is good to go. All right, Alfred Telefair, what do you think about Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, and Kanye West sitting down for a meeting? All right, talk to me in my comment box below. Alfred Telefair, Mr. Telefair TV, and I'm out. You're to book me for an interview video or by phone. If you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at